Hi there, today I'm going to show you the fall potential of using the gradient texture and at the end of this tutorial. You will be able to create all these cool stuffs using the gradient texture also we'll do a simple animation to exactly know how we can use this gradient texture at its full potential. And we will create simple animation like this, let's get started. First, let's torture the default cube by pressing X. Before we go further, I'm going to explain how we can easily get gradient look how by using this plane here. So if we start to add gradient to our sword everybody will clearly understand the whole process. I split the window to have a good workflow while dealing with the nodes and see the effect directly. I disable everything so as I can get the clean window with less gizmos. Switch to material mode to see the colors and materials in general. Go to shading editor and click new to create our new shader. <laughs> By default we cannot get the gradient effect until we use the gradient texture. So for easy understanding, let's add a color ramp node to demonstrate the concept. As you can see, color ramp can have multiple colors at once which can then be applied to a material as a single color asterisk asterisk. Color ramp has these sliders of which every single slider you can assign its own color. You can see as soon as I connect this texture what happens, right? Now we got control of every color we wish to add in this color ramp the colors. But still, no matter how we tweak these colors, we'll never have control of them until we add a gradient texture which will clearly show variation of these colors smoothly. Take a closer look of what I'm doing here and you will understand the magic of color ramp combined with gradient texture. You can add more colors using this plus sign or negative sign to remove color. See how I use these sliders to control the colors variation here. It's a crucial part to understand for now. Here you can clearly see the relation of these sliders relate to each other. Now for us to have more control over the gradient, we need to add a mapping node to control the scale, position and rotatio of the gradient which is the most important this to know. So I'm gonna press Ctrl plus T. If this doesn't work for you you need to enable node wrangler add-in in preferences for this shortcut to work. Unluckily my recorder doesn't capture the preferences option, but I hope you can handle it. So now pay attention to what happened when I adjust these values, I mean scale, rotation and position of this gradient texture. This object point most of time works great for gradient texture to map correctly. You can change these modes here to get different results, so you can experiment with them. Let's try this to other texture with no sliders like this color ramp to see how we can use this gradient texture. Since we already see how we can manipulate these nodes, now I will go a little bit faster, so you need to look careful. When working with gradient to nodes that are different from color ramp, 
you need to add a mix node for the equals his node to work properly, as it will mix the other texture with the gradient. And what matter the most here is the mode of mixing these nodes. Just take a look and you will understand what I mean. It's a good idea to use factor output to connect it, another factor input, despite it may seem not must at first time until you dive much more deep to the complex nose system. I'm going to add a displacement node to displace the noise texture. You can see the effects well how this node works. See what happened when I disconnect the gradient texture node. I hope you get the overview of how to set up this gradient texture. So we're going to do something more interesting with this gradient texture because you can use gradient texture not with just normal colors. You can use this in a wide range, all you have to do is to be creative, right? I'm going to import the sword model I modeled in the past tutorial. You can watch the tutorial link is in description below. Let's set up the scene first before we start playing with nodes. I want to do something a bit different so watch the tutorial till the end to never miss the best parts as I'm going to add some animations into this. I do this because I want you to see how interesting this gradient texture is if you use it creatively. I make the background transparent so we can see the sword more clearly. You can watch the my another tutorial of how you can render images or videos with transparent backgrounds. The link is in description. I turned off the overlays and gizmos so we can have a non-distracting viewport of our sword. Maybe I should not talk anything for now and I'll speed up the process a little bit because most of the things I'm going to do I have already explained earlier. I will pop when I feel something is not clear so enjoy the gradient texture magic for now, right? <laughs> Let me talk, you see this mapping node, it does not have the specific value to set in, all you have to do is to adjust the values until you see the effect and direction of the gradient, no thing straight here. Then I added a noise texture node to add some little details to this sword. As a rule, you must join it with the gradient texture to create a gradient effect. See this effect the way is cool.
Again you need to adjust these values of maping node until you get the effect you found cool. Also you can change the dimension of the noise texture to get different results. Does this look like blood? Tell me what you think in comment section below. It feels those cutting words that never heal behind the barricade. Always you can use a displacement node or a bump node to create these displacement or bump like effects. Now it's a cool time. Let's add some animation by keyframing the location of gradient and create a revealing effect like this one. Then you can get this cool revealing effect. Let me know what you think about this. You can chain these colors in every way you like your object to appear. After setting up the camera now we got this little animation. I bet it's so good then nothing. Repeat, render, repeat. Creativity knows no bounds.